I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, he starts to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he... This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Big punch lands. Ooh. Nice one, two there. That shot blocked by Chor. Bleeding from his cheek now. A couple of chins here being tested early. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Picks it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice body kick. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with meaning. What a takedown. Just over two minutes to go in the round. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Choi. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Back to the feet now. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. him with the left. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Choi. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Nice. Nice head kick. Four sounds for the end of round one. Striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. 
Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Choi. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Nice punch lands over the top. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Just misses with a left hook there. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice loop and bunch. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Just misses there with the left. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Oh, here's the head kick. It's blocked. Oh! And that's the end of round number two. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. We expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. So inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Choi. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, do a posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab has landed consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Just missed with that right hand. Nice punch by Choi. Oh, he missed with that right hand. And he landed the right hand there. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs. To throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knock. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. you got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he scores these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, so next round underway here. And you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp. And it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here. And he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Unable to connect it. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mix it up. Oh, it's not the card. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Back to the feet. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Good punch land. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Level change, the leg, finish the takedown. Great job. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back. Oh! Oh, what a sweep! Oh, big left hook there! Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Hands high, hands high! Under two minutes to go. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. 